Everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, in fact. Uh, let's hard save. I'm not going to need to go back and be level 1, so let's start uh, rotating them. Um, so I guess now I have to go ahead to scrounge and thrash that house. But to my knowledge, I was already all up in there. Huh. Good morning. A coin. Shut up, I gave you a coin. Unless that's a different beggar, in which case. Ah, oh, but now I'm not trespassing. I got a, I got, it's legal this time. Did I read something in here? Yeah, I've been authorized to enter and search the house. God, you'd hit your head on this so much. I can't get in here. I always think that, like, you should stand on a bed before, like, sleeping in it. Or that you, you know, you should be able to stand on a bed. Hmm. Hmm. The only LP channel where you get the real stuff. Aha! Well, that was a lot simpler. Uh, Mysterium Zarzis. And Gerald's orders. Master was pleased to hear of your activities outside of Coral. The gates, the more gates we open, the near we are to the glow. These people are just opening the gates. It's not like a random thing. They're going around and opening a gate. I guess they have like a spell for it. Uh, the nearer we are to the glorious cleansing. Master's chosen you and Laveri for a most crucial mission. A sign of your advancement through the ranks of the chosen. We've learned the Septum Air has gone to ground at Cloud Ruler Temple. Layer of the Blades. Master has made its destruction top priority. Dagon has committed whatever resources are required. Pending your report on the Septim's activities at Cloud Ruler and your assessment of the temple defenses and possible routes of escape, we plan to open a great gate. Uh oh. In the open ground before Bruma as soon as possible. The first three lesser gates represent the preliminary stages of great gate deployment. This is surprisingly tactical. Do not compromise your cover in defense of these gates. New ones can be opened quickly and easily. Oh. When the Great Gate is open, the fall of Broom is assured. Cloud Ruler cannot stand long after that, and the Septum will be caught like a rat in a trap. Uh, further welcome any details. Welcome any further details you can offer concerning the Imperial agent who rescued Martin from Kvatch. But we can't. We caution you, don't risk a confrontation. This motherfucker is not to be trifled with. The dawn is breaking. Well, that ain't good. People be leaving golden places in the Elder Scrolls. Mythic Dawn. B -b but I'm authorized. Hell yeah. Oh shit, it's for real down here. I feel like I've been in this exact cave before though. Like, people complain about, like, oh, you know, I'm going into another Nord thing in Skyrim and I'm going to kill a bunch of Draugr. Or, like, you know, oh, I'm going to go into another Dwemer thing. Man, I would rather kill a hundred Draugr than so many rats. Like, rats aren't that cool as enemies. I'm almost never... Did this... Barrel have a square lid? Oh, these are just supposed to be miscellaneous smashed boxes. Okay, that makes sense. 
Um, I would rather kill a hundred Draugr than ten rats. Like, rats are kind of lame. Even when you give them something cool, like, you call them skeevers or something, like, it's just a big fucking rat. It's not that interesting or cool of an enemy. I could kill a rat in real life. You know? Doesn't make me a hero. Like, so far, I've just killed, like, hundreds of rats. That's kind of my claim to fame. Like, I know that I, like, journeyed through Oblivion and, and killed some demons and stuff, but, like... Also, just a whole bunch of rats. Oh, God. Nothing like a good game crash. Hello? All right, we're back. I've got to say... Like, this, I don't know, is something up with this, like, cave texture? Is it just not a good cave texture? Okay, what am I, what am I doing? What am I taking this? Uh, take it to Joffrey. Cool word. Man. Squeak. Okay. Hello? Imperial Legion Forester. This guy is riddled with arrows. As are you. What? What's going on here? Should I pick a side? Oh god. That counts, damn. May as well load the save. Yeah, I figured. Okay, I'll drop this again then. A silver bow, though, that's cool. So, um,. Uh, uh, Oblivion Gate then, huh? That's, uh, that's not good. Is this, like, the big one that they were trying to open? Or is this just the... Because they mentioned the generic ones. And I think that I already commented on, like, the idea of, like... What if they just had a bunch of little Apple Watch? Aw, sounds so nice and cute. There's a fucking Hellgate up there. What can I do? Are you... Ma'am, are you aware of the the Hellgate that's visible from your house? Oh, I, I hadn't got to the that part of the, the yard yet, Derry. I was working my way over. Like Then again, I guess it is just like scamps. And yeah, it's just called a gate to oblivion. Can I put a spell on? Not a touch spell. Here we go. Things that are always level scaled to the main character are so fucking weird. Because, like... Like, in Morrowind, things don't get level scaled that hard, and so, like, people aren't next to this crazy, super scary, like, Daedric Shrine, because there's just... Oh, right. Okay, let's make a hard save. People aren't next to this, you know, crazy, super scary, like, you know, Daedric Shrine, because the Daedra live there. And they're the big, scary Daedra. Okay, well, back to more of this, I guess. Um, 
but like in this game, it's a thing of like the anguish keep, of course. Because we're getting stuff like, you know, level scale demons. Like, that just means that we have people who are just level scaled to those demons, you know? Like, I feel like I could deal with an Oblivion Crisis if it was just a bunch of, like, level one demons. Like, a scamp? Hello? Like, that's not that scary, guys. Is this your best foot forward? It makes, it makes Merun's Dagon look kind of like an idiot. Because he's, like, sending, like, you know, level one Gennaro's forward. Oh yeah, do I even need to worry about these? I don't. Maybe I do, but what about this? No, yeah, they don't really do that much damage. It's kind of pathetic, guys. Hmm. So I, I had kind of assumed that these were going to be like randomly generated. Well, that's nice and like, ominous. Um, it looks like, I don't think they actually are. It looks like they might not be, um, which is kind of interesting. Let's get absorb health on standby. Cool. Touch spells are interesting. I don't know if there are touch spells in, um, like, Skyrim. The Halls of Shame. Oh, and the Wastes of Oblivion. Okay. Let's go back. What's happening? Why am I sinking? <gasps> really, guys? Well, let's see if that happens again. Okay, yeah, if you just go a little too far, you just start sinking into it. That's, uh, that's stupid. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no way. Luckily, I hit the lava, and so I didn't die. Not even in Minecraft would you see such a skip. Well, I say that, but I actually know for a fact that some people do use that skip. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Though I think... That might have stranded me outside. I'm kind of worried about that. No wonder the Argonians see Oblivion and they're like, yeah, whatever. Like, this isn't that bad. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Cool. Unfiltered. Gaming content. Oh, did my torch burn out when I dunked in there? 
Did the game think that it was water? Man, this is a fucking video game. I'll tell you that for free. Well, now we've identified that, yes, the collision on the edge of that thing is just fucking borked. We've also identified... Thank you. That, um... Little piece of lint, pardon me. Uh, we've also identified that, like, lava is not necessarily a kill. You think it would be? But it isn't. Okay, this leads here to the waste of oblivion. Man. Okay. Oh, let's put my good spells back on. Let's let's start using more touch spells, because honestly, those are cool. Also, maybe you're like weak to frost. Yeah, I bet you are. I think the touch spell must do more damage, and what's more. Oh, word. What's more, his being weak to frost is... Like, if he's if he's a demon and he's shooting me, with, shooting me with fire, then maybe it stands to reason that he's weak to frost. So then a touch spell, which does more damage, but requires you to close, to di uh, to close the distance. Oh. Hello? That's okay. You go when you feel like it. See, this feels randomly generated. Uh, also, I just realized that those like little fonts of mana and stamina and health and stuff are similar to the things that show up in the Dragonborn DLC of Skyrim. Um, specifically when you're going through the uh, Hermaeus Mora uh, realm. Which makes sense because... But I can't assume that that can count as stealth because I'm holding a torch. Nice. Oh, worship bench, you know. Fun. Um, but yeah, I guess it makes sense that like those would be here because those are just these. Those are both different planes of oblivion that you get to go to. Though I will say, maybe it's a little silly that, like, so many of the different planes of oblivion are just rife with goodies that heal, like, stalwart heroes. Word. Okay. Anguish Shrine again. An anguish shrine. Okay. Door to the oblivion wastes. Oh, hello. Great. Let's see if this dumps me somewhere. And again. Do they just not model it? Is it is it not collision? Does it not collide? Okay, cool. So yeah, it just looks like those lead to the same place. Love the volcanic textures here. They look a little cheap, but I like the idea of them at, at least. I gotta say, these gloves kind of do make me look like I'm wearing big steel mittens. Look at those. I know that it's, like, realistic and, like, that's what they would wear. Because it's cheap and you can put it together easily, but, like... They look kind of lame. Hmm. 
What should I be doing? Where should I be going? Also, it's kind of funny that these are just called a gate to oblivion. You know, like just a generic gate. Goes to oblivion. You know how it is. Is this nothing? Does this not go anywhere? Okay, because that leads up here. And that leads up here. So what the hell is this? What's the point of these things? Is this when people get their dicks out and they're like, Oh, it's so non-linear. Oh, it's a better game. It being non-linear and lacking direction means that it's a better video game. Because some people think that. Some morons do. You know, the nice thing is, I don't have to defend my position. Because I just don't have to... Uh, <laughs> I can just say things on the internet. You know? Who's going to stop me? I didn't want to bother walking all the way down. I feel like there's... Like, not rhyme or reason to the way that these are, like, organized. This is a minor thing as well, but, like, I don't care about taking damage in, in Elder Scrolls because, like... I like using damage in order to... Like, almost as an excuse to heal myself. Like, if you get levels for training heal, then it's good for you to be hurt. Alright, it's this. Like, I almost have no reason to not be, like, constantly getting hurt. Because if I can just heal myself, then why not? It's one of those things that, like... Like, because there, there is a minor problem with the way that Elder Scrolls handle stuff. Because, like, when you have generic stats, you can assume that the player is able to proceed. You know? Like, oh, well, if they've gotten to this point, then they would have enough levels to do that. Because they're here. Um, and you can assume that. But when you have a build, like, in, in Skyrim... Um, like, well, they, they, you know, they've only been doing this and now switching in order to do more of this other thing is going to be really hard for them. And that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's something I would always agree with. Like in Dark Souls, you never get like a generic level. You only get one point per level, which is like exhausting and super hard, but. What that means is... Oh, yeah. So they must be weak to light, uh, weak to ice. You never get generic levels in Dark Souls. You always get a specific level. So this is... Oh, the Frost one is also more. Why? Um, yeah, choosing where you put your levels means that you're going to have a character built exactly the way that you want it to be. Because never have you encountered a... Ooh, nice. But then there's that. Oh, I have a... I have a disease. I should drink one of those. And then let's uh let's poison my sword.
Wow, the light potion is really solid. That's pretty great. I actually like the uh, cast light spell in Skyrim a lot. <laughs> Did they try to trick me there or something? Do a trick? Do a do a, a, a gambit? Okay. Well, it does look like these actually are supposed to link up. It's just that they don't. Which is kind of interesting, actually. The Halls of Shame. I feel like the, we're, like, gonna run out of these, these like, pity, like, dark, edgy names, you know? Also, like, these two towers weren't actually that different. Like, maybe there should have only been one in here. Oh. That, like, kind of scared me. Damn. So what is the... What is it? Ah. Okay. So they actually do some damage. Oh, gross. It's undulating and pustulous. Let's just have some of that. I know that I've got the mana, but I don't feel like spamming a bunch of uh, healing spells. Partially because I would have to change off of what I'm holding, magically speaking. A Dramora Churl. Oh, let's drink some more. Um... Oh, actually, I can use my, my poison sword. More a mace. Three damage. Not actually better. All right. Yeah. Cool. I don't know if this is like main quest stuff because like maybe I should start to do these off screen. Because like this is the second one I've done. They make you do the one like essentially as a tutorial in the main quest. The Sorrow Shrine. Oh again, it looks like the other one. Yep, and there's the Oblivion Wastes. This side they've actually modeled though. I guess because this is where it's supposed to like stick in. You know, it's still amusing to me that you can kill a guy and loot him before his body hits the floor. That's like just a silly engine thing, but Okay, is there supposed to be like a button up here that I hit? And the problem is, I have no idea what to do when, when it comes to, like... Uh, when it comes to, like, Googling this, because... Like, it's just gonna sit... Like, wh what am I gonna Google? Oblivion Gate? A gate to oblivion? Like... There, there should or could have been something that I could do to close this, right? I should be doing something to close it. I imagine that that's, like, probably a big deal, right? Ooh, that's, that's nice. I like that. It was this going to kill me? Ooh, no, it won't. Cool. So depending on the game, 
if you get a fill up of mana and then you use it before it's finished filling you, you don't get the whole pop of it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. So this just leads back out. Hmm. What? Oh, the fart glass, yes. Ah. So is this anything over here? No. Well. Oh, I should call... Oh, I just... I put it together, guys. I'll call this episode Oblivion Wastes because this was a waste of my time. Possibly. I might go back in and, and like, close this if I figure out how to, but I, I just don't know how to. Uh, but yeah, that's another episode of uh, Oblivion, everyone. Maybe I'll call this, like, a 9.5, something like that. Back to the rail world. Oh. Well, that ain't good. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh... Why walk when you can run has always been your motto. Now the miles of running and hours of swimming paid off. You're an impressive athletics. Well, that's good. Uh, this one, this one's less good though. But um, I guess I'll figure out what to do about this next time. Uh, until then, I've been Alpha. This has been the Elder Scrolls Oblivione. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.